I'm Starborn. Remember to be a star. You have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness because that's when stars shine brightest. And tonight, today's show is going to highlight the fact that we're into the holiday season, so I want to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving Day tomorrow. And that sort of goes along with the title of the show, which is Doing What's Right. And so we can be having rather benevolent thoughts about how to get along with people and do things that are right. And this is the holiday season, so it's a good time to do that. So I hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving uh, tomorrow. And that is because there is a grand trine in the air signs. And air signs are very conceptual and creative and communicative. And so that simply means that all of us can be wanting to uh, talk to other people or work terms out on things or even create better partnerships right now or better legal terms on something and sort of get along. And that is because Pluto is now in Aquarius, the sign of the future, and it's a fixed sign. And so there can be a lot of people who are in upper management in large corporations, government agencies, or institutions that are thinking of the future and perhaps of the people that they want to employ in the future and also what their future policies could be and that could be a change from what they had been in the past. So, you know, the, these people are sort of doing a lot of high thinking right now about future projects. That Pluto in Aquarius, though, is beautifully trining Jupiter in Gemini. Now, Jupiter is retrograde, but Gemini does rule communication and easy transitional change. It rules our neighborhoods. It rules our friends and pals and buddies and people we've known uh, from our early childhood education. And it rules temporary or part-time efforts. And it rules two-year colleges and vocational schools. And it rules advertising and journalism and marketing and promotion and buying and selling. And so uh, Geminis have the gift of gab. But that Jupiter is retrograde. And that means that people can be changing their short-term plans or they can be changing their minds about some of their priorities. But with Pluto in Aquarius trining that Jupiter, that could work out better for people right now because those two planets are also trining um, the moon today in Libra. And Libra rules the traditional seventh house of partnership and peace and diplomacy and negotiation. And it rules wanting to get along with people really well. And it also rules the law and all legal contracts, and it rules art and beauty, and um, it just sort of being charming to people. And so since it does rule partnership, and since Pluto is trining it from the sign of Aquarius, which rules the future, we can be looking forward to new partnerships, which would be nice, or better legal terms in a contract. And we can be looking even for short-time short -time or part-time efforts that work out like that. In other words, maybe even a partnership that's just a part-time partnership, uh, but under a legal contract or something that's, you know, works out sort of to everyone's satisfaction right now, or in just at least in time to complete a short project, that would work out well too. So the main emphasis is on thinking and communicating about doing what's right and doing what's right for the future, which is good. And that's great. And that could also cover the policies. Remember that Pluto in Aquarius rules people that are pretty high up who make the policies. It could, it could rule policies that have a very long-term effect. And uh, that, you know, when a company makes a policy, you know, it's, it's, it's not short-term. It's something that will help them uh, grow and provide well for others. And so part of the uh, policies that can be formed right now could emphasize long-term benefits and the reason why is the ruler of that assigned Libra where the moon is today is Venus and Venus is in Capricorn today and it is trining Uranus in Taurus. Now Uranus is a malefic planet ruling sudden surprising change but it does rule Aquarius which rules the future Uranus is retrograde right now. So people can be going back and revising their policies 
Maybe this could be an upper management or bringing in uh, new people and um, new ideas or new policies or new directions that they want their organizations to go in. But Capricorn is the traditional ruler of your 10th house of career and of your public reputation and of your long-term benefits that you earn by doing things right over a long period of time. So it rules your retirement plans or your pension plans. And since Venus is the ruler of Taurus and it's trining the sign of Taurus uh, because it's trining where Uranus is, there is an indication <clears throat> that good money can come slowly. That's the way Capricorn works. Can comes big good money can come slowly over time to those who want to steadily work as hard as they can and then would reap the benefits of that through a pension plan. And so that would depend on a company's policies and also on your own work effort and your own public reputation and the results that come about by you doing a good job. So that's great. However, there are some planets that can make for confusion right now. And it is because there are five planets in a harsh T-cross among the mutable signs. And the mutable signs are pretty easy to get along with. But they're sort of not all agreeing right now. And that is because Mercury today and the Sun, yeah, Mercury and the Sun are in Sagittarius which is a mutable fire sign. And it is, um, those two planets are opposing the Jupiter in Gemini. And Mercury is now retrograde. It's going backward in its orbit. It does that every once in a while. It does that for about three weeks. And then it turns around and goes forward. During a time when Mercury goes retrograde, such as right now, it's a good time for people to go back and review of their own policies or some of the things that they meant to do but they didn't quite get done. It's a good idea to sort of go back and uh, tie up loose ends. It's not too good a time to start something but it's a very good time to prepare perhaps for a new start and you would do that by tying up loose ends or finishing up something when Mercury is retrograde. But those two planets in Sagittarius are opposing Jupiter in Gemini which is also retrograde meaning that people can be changing their minds about the direction that they want to go in or how much time they want to spend on something or the short travels that they want to take or perhaps even going back to school and taking a short course to update their skills. They can be sort of reviewing all of that and even no matter what your plans and ideas are for the holidays you may be changing your mind a little bit about that. And these three planets are all being squared by Saturn, which is now direct in Pisces, and by Neptune, which is also retrograde in Pisces. So there are four retrograde planets. Three of them are in these mutable signs, squaring and opposing each other, which means you've got to go back and review some, some things that really need to... you really got to make sure that you're sort of on the right track or that you're going for the goals that you really believe in right now. And if you, if you need to change your mind, this is a good time to do it because there are four retrograde planets. The three, three of them, Mercury retrograde, Jupiter retrograde, and Neptune retrograde, are also joined by Uranus and Taurus, which is retrograde. <clears throat> and so what that means is that there can be petty quarrels now, or disagreements uh, about policies and uh, about how people want to do things and even about their plans in the future. And, and it could be your short-term future. I sort of, what do you want to do over the holidays? Those things may change right now as people change their minds or they change their priorities. And that's what can create petty quarrels right now. So just try, try to keep a smile on your face because after all, the moon is in Libra and Libra rules charm and Thanksgiving is tomorrow. <laughs> so I hope you get through a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner and. And um, no matter what you're <clears throat> thinking of that can be upsetting, don't say it tomorrow. <laughs> Just be as charming as you can because the grand trine in air signs will hold. So that's good. <clears throat> However, there are some people that may not have such a great Thanksgiving. And that is because there can be braggarts and there can be gamblers who have lost big. 
You know, they, they were the people that were going to take over and, and make other people do everything their way. Well, that hasn't worked. And the reason why it continues not to work now, in other words, the reason that that has failed, is that Mars is in Leo right now, and it is being opposed by that Pluto in Aquarius. Mars and Pluto are the rulers of Scorpio. So these rulers are coming up against each other in fixed signs. Fixed signs don't budge. So some people can, come in up, can be coming up with big arguments about money or the loss of it. And it could be the loss since Leo rules gambling and Mars is there. So there could be a lot of gamblers or people that were so confident that they were going to get their way that they are not very happy right now. And whatever they wanted to do, I don't think it's going to work very well in their future plans because there won't be enough money to do it. And so Mars and Pluto are the rulers of a financial sign. Well, on top of that, Uranus, another malefic planet, is in Taurus, squaring that Mars in Leo, but it's also squaring Pluto in Aquarius. And that's why it's very important right now to really do what's right. And, and the, the stars are with you. I mean, that grand trine in air signs means everybody can get along if they want to, or they can, they can adjust their plans, or they can change their priorities or change their minds. It's possible with such good planets in the air signs. And so uh, even if you have to revise some of your plans over the holidays, um, it's better than getting in a petty quarrel that nobody's going to win. Or it's better than pouring good money after bad and still losing. Uh, you know, this is not a good time to take a gamble on anything. But if you um, are certain of uh, somebody that would make a good partner right now, this is a good time to talk to them about it with the grand trine in the air signs because the moon is in Libra, the sign of partnership. And they may turn out to be a longer term partner than you think because the ruler of Libra is Venus and it's in Capricorn trining that Uranus. Meaning that a lot of people, even young people right now who are just thinking about making their future career choices uh, may be doing that based on uh, what employer is able to offer them long-term benefits if they do their job really well over a long period of time and they do it right. That's why this is such an important time to do things right. Because you've got a lot to gain. Even if it comes just little by little over a long period of time, that adds up. And it guarantees you security um, down the road. And so this is a real good time for you to seriously think about, okay, it might take, it might take work and it might take um, devotion and dedication and um, being on your best behavior and doing things right, but it, there could be a long-term reward for that right now. Uh, if, if, you're, if you're sort of real sure of who you want to be with, you know, this is a good time for new partnerships and, uh, and what what everybody's duties are, or what the expectations are, and you all agree on that, hey, then go to it and do things right. So good luck. Okay, what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? Mm, Aries. Well, Aries, your own ruler is trining your sun, because Mars is in Leo trining your sun, and Mars is your ruler. But that Mars is taking a real hit right now because Pluto in Aquarius is opposing it, which means that your future plans are sort of up in the air right now. And the reason why is there may not be enough money around to actually accomplish them. And so you might want to lower your sights a little bit, Aries. Or else this would just be a better time for you to um, more carefully withdraw a little bit and make plans for a better future. Uh, one that could really take off uh, somewhere around your birthday in 2025 when there is a solar eclipse in your sign. It would be the second solar eclipse in Aries in two years. There was one this year and there will be one next year as well. And so you need to get ready for that Aries because right now with Mars, your own ruler, being opposed by Pluto somewhere in your life, in your business life or your private life or your investment life or in the life of your loved ones, um, there's not enough money to do something, or you may have lost money, or else they may have lost money. And so there, there is what you might call a budget shortfall <laughs> that can be going on in one way or another in your life, Aries. And if you sort of withdrew a little bit and 
started over and started quietly planning for going in a new direction this spring when the solar eclipse is in your sun sign, you would that would be a better use of your time. For one thing, you wouldn't be arguing with anybody. And with Mars opposing Pluto, there can, there can be problems. There are uh, arguments about money. You won't win them. <clears throat> so don't get in a fight about anything. And also, the moon in Libra today is opposing your sun. And that's too bad because that moon is part of a grand trine. And so there is a partner that um, probably is going to either go their own way or they're going to get their own way. But it, they would sort of deserve it. That, you know, they would have done things quite well. And so, um, or it, there is also the possibility that there is a, some legal matter that you are not on the winning end of right now. So if you are in a legal controversy, or if you're involved in any kind of petty quarrels right now, I would, I would try to end them, Aries. It, if you pro prolong them, it's only going to make you tired. It's not going to get you anywhere. <clears throat> because your ruler, Mars, is so, uh, it's aspected adversely right now. Because another malefic planet, Uranus and Taurus, is squaring it, which means the more you argue, the more money you lose. Don't argue. And then that Mars is being opposed by Pluto, which means there isn't enough money around anyway. You could want money from somebody, but they don't have it either. And so just end the quarrel if you can. And I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving anyway. Okay, what does it mean to a Taurus? Well, Taurus, this is a time, Taurus, when you might be deciding to retire, if you can. Or it might just be that the career that you're in has not... It doesn't have a long-term payout to it for one reason or another. Now, <clears throat> it, it could be that it always did have that. In other words, you could be involved in some sort of career that you've been at for a while, and with Venus, your own ruler in Capricorn right now, trining Uranus in your sign, which is a planet, it's an unstable planet. But still, you know, there could be some money around that once you looked it all over, you may decide that it is actually better to retire right now. Okay, generally your retirement funds are not going to be as much as your current salary, but work costs money too. And so there can be expenses with work, and that diminishes your salary before you even have a chance to spend it. Whereas if you retire, you're just bringing the money in. You don't necessarily have to be paying anything extra for it. And in fact, you may have investment funds that have sort of run their course. They've probably paid off as much as they can. You might think about selling them right now, or you might think about different ways to handle your money. And it may become more important in the future for you, Taurus, particularly with Mars and Leo squaring that Uranus in your sun sign. And Uranus is going to be in your sun sign for another year. And Pluto in Aquarius is also squaring that Uranus in your sun sign. It may be to your advantage to retire or to simply scale back. So that would cut your income a little bit from work. But you might be able to handle your investments in a different way so that they start making more money for you so that you don't have to work so hard. Do you see what I mean? Taurus is, Taurus is pretty good at knowing where the money is. Uh, but Taurus also has high-priced tastes. <laughs> and I, I wouldn't be overly extravagant this holiday season, Taurus, and the reason why is that Mars is squaring your sun, and so is Pluto. There isn't enough money uh, to <clears throat> finance all of your plans <laughs> for the holiday, so I think you'll have to be cutting back in one way or another. But I would say that if you quietly looked at, at, at the costs that your lifestyle is incurring, and that if you were able to cut your costs, even, even retire, and that would cut your costs, you might be money ahead in the long run. And this is a real good time for you to sort of work that out, Taurus. Because your, your finances are being threatened. You know, there are times when it's, it's nice to gamble on something. This is not one of those times, Taurus. And so if you have lost on any gamble, you may continue to do that unless you decide to change something in the way you handle your money. So this is a very good time for you to real quietly think about 
what your costs are, and you know how much is left after the money that you make or bring in, after you pay the costs, are you really better off? Or could you retire and cut a lot of those costs and, and certainly have a better lifestyle because you'd be more rested and you'd, you'd, have, you'd be more in charge of your own time then. And maybe that would work for you better, uh, Taurus. <clears throat> so just know you are vulnerable to financial losses right now. And they may continue for a variety of reasons. One, no gambles are going to pay off. But two, people in upper management really are making policies and thinking of how to change things, which could include their business plans and their staff. They could change their staff as going forward as they head into the future. And you may not be interested in, in being involved with that, or else you may not be selected for that. And that's why you need to think a little bit more about, you know, how to cut your costs so that you can live perhaps on a retirement income, but maybe live just as well and feel better. So good luck. Okay, what does it mean to a Gemini? Well, Gemini. This is a time, Gemini, when I think you're going to have to change some of your plans. And they might be travel plans, or they might be how you spend your time in, um, in your daily life. And that is because Gemini rules everyday life. And it rules early childhood education, and it rules our neighborhoods and our pals and our buddies, and short journeys. And certainly during the holiday times, a lot of people do visit relatives and things like that, and they, they do make short journeys. But for one reason or another, you may, and it may not be your fault, Gemini, it might be the weather <laughs> that w would make you have to change your travel plans. I mean, why would you want to spend a vacation in the airport? because no flights were going out due to bad weather. So, I mean, you gotta, you got to be ready to adapt. Geminis are very adaptable. It rules uh, versatility. And so they can, they can change and go in a different direction, and I think you're going to have to do that, because Jupiter is retrograde in your sign. It's being opposed by the Sun and Mercury in Sagittarius today, and Mercury is retrograde. And these three planets are all being squared, by Saturn, and then Neptune, which is retrograde in Pisces. So even behind the scenes, there can be a change in some of the ways that you were thinking about people, or the information that you are finally finding out about them, and you may want to change your mind about things that have been going on behind the scenes that perhaps you didn't know about, but once you find out about them, you could change your opinion, and uh, that would change your plans. And so try to be your your versatile, adaptable best in this holiday season because I think you are going to have to alter some of your plans. Um, but that would be all right. I mean, why get stuck in a dead end? If you can alter your plans and sort of still keep going in one way or another, that would be just great. And since your own ruler Mercury is retrograde right now, this is a very good time for you to go back and review what your future plans are <clears throat> and Look at them over again and see if they really fit in the timeline that you have already anticipated. Because some things may have to change. And this is a good time to consider that. So good luck. Okay, what does it mean to a Cancer? <clears throat> well, Cancer. This is a time, Cancer, when I think, you know, as the holidays progress, as we go from Thanksgiving tomorrow through all of the holiday, the Christmas holidays, uh, this is a time that uh, is very happy for a Cancer uh, because there's good home cooking. They love to cook or they love to eat other people's good home cooking. <laughs> and they like to be home and um, it's, it's a good family time, which is nice. <clears throat> so you could be anticipating that, but I would say, Cancer, that if you were anticipating not a, a, a big busy holiday season, but one where you can spend a little bit more time quietly at home, that might be a good idea. And that is so that you can think of how to plan your new year, or how to plan your future, or what kind of partnerships or policies that you want to consider in the coming new year. This is a good time at the end of this year to be thinking about all those things. And so <clears throat> your ruler, the moon, today is in Libra. It does square your sun, but it is it part of a grand trine. And that's going to do you some good. 
Whenever the ruler is well aspected, it does the sign it rules a lot of good as well. And your sign, Cancer, is actually being trined by Saturn, which is now direct in Pisces, and also by Neptune in Pisces, which is retrograde. They are part of a harsh uh, T-cross in mutable signs, meaning that some other people behind the scenes are not quite what you always thought they were. And instead of you having a preconceived notion that, that is static, that always stays the same, you might have to sort of open your eyes again and take another look at the way people are today and review that. <clears throat> you know, Neptune's retrograde. Uh, review um, how you assess people and make sure that you're not kidding yourself on anything, Cancer. Or make, make sure that whoever you want to be with is somebody who is able to do things right. In other words, when we say doing things right, we mean for the good of all. And uh, that's how cancers think. Cancer rules the masses. It rules unions. And it rules America and Canada and Ukraine. And it, it rules the whole agriculture business. So cancers love to feed everybody in one way or another. They don't mind that at all. And so that's great. <clears throat> because we need people who are very nurturing. And so it is a Cancer's nature to be nurturing. And all I'm saying is just make sure that with Neptune and Saturn trining your sun, which is a good aspect, but with Neptune being retrograde, that whoever you're thinking of, particularly and what they do behind the scenes, uh, make sure that, that you would be happy with them or that you're happy with what they're doing. And if there's any question or any new information you find out that could be a little bit disappointing or disillusioning, this would be a good time to face that. Uh, because it wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt you to face the truth. And there are four retrograde planets. And uh, one of them is Mercury. And that's the uh, planet of the mind. So a lot of people are going to be looking things over and sort of changing their minds. And you can too, Cancer. But it may be to your benefit. It may be that some people have been even hiding things from you. And if, if the truth comes out, oh, that'll, that'll benefit you. You'll know a little bit more, and you'll be able to make better decisions. Uh, cancers are, they like simple things. And uh, it doesn't mean that they don't like a good party or a good Thanksgiving dinner, but um, they, are, they have simple needs and they like simple things. And um, they are very nurturing. What a Cancer gives is not just food, if they've got it. They're always willing to share their food. Um, but a Cancer has a caring heart because Cancer rules nurturing. But your sign also rules endings. And so this can be a time when you would want to re-examine, particularly if you find out new information about people behind the scenes, you would want to re-examine your... Um, your conclusions or your estimation of the kind of person uh, that that somebody is. Because you might find, find new information that gives you a little different slant on them, and then you would want to consider that carefully as well. <clears throat> and so, um, so I think you are going to find out something you didn't know before, Cancer. And uh, it will maybe give you pause for, for thought. And um, it would tend to benefit you to know that. Whatever it was, whether it disappoints you or not, it would benefit you to know it. And so uh, just sort of peacefully go through your Thanksgiving holiday and be sure and take leftovers or, or give people leftovers. That's a good part about Thanksgiving. Uh, what I always love the day after Thanksgiving is uh, pumpkin pie for breakfast. <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> and so... That's what we have Thanksgiving for, to be grateful for what we have, and also to be glad to share it with others. So uh, that would be dear to a Cancer's heart, so I hope you have a good holiday. Okay, what does it mean to a Leo? <clears throat> well, Leo, certainly you would have encountered some situation where you gambled and lost, and uh, that could have been in, in the recent past. Uh, or you could be finding out about it right now because Mars is in your sign and now Pluto is in Aquarius opposing your sun sign and these are the two rulers of Scorpio. You may even find out, much to your surprise, and you would not really like this, 
that you owe more taxes on something, Scorpio rules taxes, or else somebody wants to stick you with a bill that you didn't think you owed at all. Um, and they might succeed at that. And, and so um, what I'm saying, Leo, is hang on to your money. You're going to need it <laughs> for things that you don't, you're not anticipating right now. Because Uranus, another malefic planet, is in Taurus, and it is squaring that Mars in your sign. That is not good. There's only three, retrograde, uh, three malefic planets, and two of them are in harsh aspect in fixed signs right now. And that has, a, since Taurus is a fixed financial sign, that can have an effect on you because Pluto is also opposing your sun sign. But the sun and Mercury today, and Mercury is retrograde, are trining your sun, Leo. And so you may be thinking of a long distance trip because Sagittarius rules travel, but your travel plans may change a little bit and they may cost you more than you were anticipating. Okay, so there's that possibility too. What I'm just saying is that I think that you are going to have to uh, either have deep pockets or else you're going to have to have a little money put away somewhere so that if you needed to raid the piggy bank, you could do it. And you might need to do that, Leo. You might need to have a little extra money around somewhere uh, for an additional bill or a change in plans or something that you thought was going to work out but it didn't or something things that just cost more and if you had a little something socked away somewhere uh, maybe you could draw on that and and it would help you get through and uh, particularly if you were making travel plans uh, they may end up costing you more than you think Leo so uh, take extra money if you're going on a trip and good luck. Okay, what does it mean to a Virgo? Well, Virgo, yours is a mutable sign. And remember I said there can be petty quarrels right now among people. <clears throat> and they can be about policies that people are not agreeing on. <clears throat> and that is because there are five planets in the mutable signs and they all square or oppose your sun sign, Virgo, but you don't have any planets in your sun sign. However, you do have some backup. Venus in Capricorn is trining your sun, which means some long-term reward, uh, and that could be involving a pension plan or a retirement plan or an investment plan, uh, could be paying off. You might get good news about that uh, sometime in the next month, you know, during the holidays. You could get good news about that. And then um, Uranus in Taurus is also trining your sun, and that Venus in Capricorn is trining that Uranus. Uh, so there can be um, even the possibility of a promotion for you, Virgo, because Capricorn rules the 10th house of career and Venus is there. So, you know, Virgos are very modest. Uh, they never think they're good enough, and so they just keep trying harder and harder, which means that they really are good at what they do. And so it might surprise you that somebody gives you a better job offer or they give you a promotion or at least they offer it to you. Or it can be that an investment that you had made that you thought would pay off way down the road could pay off pretty soon. And that much to your surprise, it could do that. And if I were you, um, Virgo, I would, I would try to adapt now to uh, the changing financial climate. Uh, and, and anything that your money is involved in, you should review that. And you should take a look at how your money is going to react to changing economic times because you might have to make some adjustments. Um, you know, if something goes down, why go down with it? If you can sort of get your money out and put it somewhere else where it could do you more good. So you need to really think about that <clears throat> because there are people that are going to be, create petty quarrels for you or, or they'll, they'll bring up things just to get you involved in their problems. And Virgos are good problem solvers, really good problem solvers. But do you have to be involved in everybody else's problems when it's holiday time? No, Virgo, you don't. <laughs> so, I mean, take advantage of the fact that Venus is training your sun and so is Uranus. That Uranus is severely aspected in a harsh way because Mars and Leo is squaring it. And that Mars and Leo is right behind your sun sign, Virgo. That means in the background of your life, somebody else has taken a gamble and has lost big. And they're not happy about that. But Virgo, I want to remind you, they did it to themselves. They, they, you're not at fault. 
and you shouldn't jump in where angels fear to tread, Virgo, stay out of it. If somebody else has lost money, they did it to themselves. In fact, if I were you, the doing the right thing now would be that you should not bring that up. <laughs> Try to be tactful. The moon is right ahead of your sun sign in Libra, and it's in a grand trine in air signs. So try to do your best right now. And um, if somebody wants to sort of jab at you or get you to solve their problems for them, uh, which would be impossible because they made them, they're the ones that have got to solve the problem, not you. <clears throat> but they might want to drag you into it. And so you need to be a little bit careful, Virgo, right now, because the Sun and Mercury, your own ruler, are in Sagittarius, squaring your Sun, and Saturn and Neptune in Pisces are opposing your Sun, and Jupiter in Gemini is squaring your Sun. Do you, do you see why you should sort of mind your own business, Virgo? Keep a smile on your face, but don't walk in where angels fear to tread. Uh, don't, you like to be of assistance. But you have to realize some people have done it to themselves and you should sort of smile and say you're a little bit too busy and go in a different direction. Uh, that way the thing that you are gaining is peace of mind and you would have earned it. You have a right to your own peace of mind. And so uh, remember that that's very important. And if you've been doing things right, just stick with what you've been doing. You'll, you'll do fine. But try not to get lost in petty quarrels right now because there's going to be more than one person that's going to try to sort of suck you into their problems. And I think you've got to make an excuse and get out of there just for your own peace of mind. Okay, what does it mean to a Libra? Well, Libra, congratulations, the moon is in your sign today and it's part of a grand trine. And that simply means that Pluto in Aquarius is trining your sun sign and so is Jupiter in Gemini. <clears throat> that means you can be pretty popular in your neighborhood but there can be because Gemini rules neighborhoods and yet people can be moving around and changing and having their own holiday plans and so <clears throat> you may some of your pals and buddies may not be around the way that used to be a Libra that shouldn't bother you at all because if, even if you change your mind about short-term projects or short journeys that you want to take or you are rescheduling something right now, uh, that's all right. You have a right to do that. And because the moon is in your sign, Libra, you're going to be very charming to people <clears throat> and very popular. This is going to be either a very nice Thanksgiving that you're going to have or I think it goes a little further than that since the there's a grand trine in air signs, and I would say you're probably going to have a pretty nice holiday season and be popular all the way through it, which is nice. Libra's like that. <laughs> so you may be going to more than one party, or it may be that you choose to do something that's very relaxing that benefits you. It could be something artistic <clears throat> or creative, because your sign rules art and beauty and, and peace. So you might even carve out some time for yourself uh, to do something that gives you peace of mind. And that would be doing the right thing. But we all are, owe ourselves that, particularly in busy holiday times. You need a, you need a little downtime, Libra. And also, at the same time, by staying sort of calm and cool and peaceful, you can be very attractive to other people who are pretty high up in upper management in large corporations, government agencies, or institutions who are changing their policies, they're updating their policies, and they're updating uh, their staffs in order to accomplish their future projects or their future goals. And they can be very attracted to you, Libra, because Pluto is trining your sun. It's going to be doing that for years. You know, <clears throat> From now on, for about the next 15 or 17 years, you're going to be meeting people that are more influential than you are, and they're going to like you. You know, you'll just find yourself in a crowd where, you know, the person sitting next to you could be pretty important or pretty famous, and you might say, gee, what am I doing here? But it's just because you're included in a group that, you know, likes you. Well, what's wrong with that? Nothing. So have a nice Thanksgiving. And enjoy this popularity, particularly if you're wanting to do what's right. Your sign rules the law, but your sign also rules fairness and balance and diplomacy. 
<clears throat> and negotiation. But above all, it rules the law and all legal contracts and partnership. So if you have your mind on partnership, uh, this would be a good time to really think seriously about who would be a very good partner. And you might be surprised that somebody else is thinking the same thing about you. They may th be thinking you're the good partner. <clears throat> so if you're contacted by anybody, Libra, I would follow up if I were you. The stars are with you. And... Um, it, Libras like to be out in public. They like to be around people that are nice and, and who have standards where they do know how to do the right thing. Because <clears throat> that's important to a Libra. So good luck. Okay, what does it mean to a Scorpio? Well, Scorpio. This is a time, Scorpio, when I think that you have to be real careful with your money. And the reason why is that there isn't anything in your sign anymore. There has been there have been planets in your sign for quite a while, but there isn't anything now. In fact, the Sun and Mercury, which is retrograde now, are in Sagittarius, right ahead of your Sun sign, but there's nothing in your sign. However, there are two planets that are um, strongly trining your Sun, and they have been doing that for at well over a year, almost two years really, and that is Saturn, which is now direct in Pisces, and Neptune, which is retrograde in Pisces. And uh, they're sort of taking a hit because uh, Pisces is a mutable sign. And so Jupiter is squaring those planets. And um, the Sun and Mercury are also squaring those planets. So you may know people, Scorpio, wh whose plans or whose ideas or whose goals are subject to change right now. And they may surprise you <laughs> by, you know, you could be thinking or taking something for granted or someone else for granted. And you, you might be surprised that their plans or their goals or their policies that they're interested in now have changed. And they even could be involved in some sort of petty quarrel. And if they want to suck you into that Scorpio, don't let them because I don't think you're going to be in a petty quarrel. And if you are involved in one, you should get out of it right away. The petty quarrels are from the five planets in the, in the mutable signs, and yours is not a mutable sign. Yours is a fixed sign. You have enough troubles of your own, Scorpio, without getting in the middle of other people's worries. So don't do that. And the reason why you have enough troubles of your own is because Mars, your own ruler, is in Leo, squaring your sun. Pluto... Your other ruler is in Aquarius, also squaring your sun, and they are opposing each other. When the rulers of a sign are in adverse aspect, it's a little hard to live with that. It, it means you'll be challenged because they square your sun and they oppose each other. And Uranus in Taurus is also opposing your sun. What that means, Scorpio, is there is a financial matter <clears throat> that other people could say, uh, that they, they want to engage you in or involve you in, and it's for their benefit. They will tell you it's for your benefit. That's not true, Scorpio. Believe me. Uh, it, all they want your money for is so they can take the gamble, so they can benefit, so they can boost their investments, or maybe they want to borrow money from you because their investments have fallen. Well, that's their business, Scorpio, not yours. It's not your business, and, and you don't need to make it your business either. Uh, what Your sign rules justice. Uh, that means if a person, you know, gambles and loses, uh, nobody made them do it. They did it because they wanted to, so they can get themselves out of it. They have to, actually. And they may be past the point of no return, and like a drowning person, they want to pull you down to where they are. Don't, don't agree to that at all, Scorpio. Your sign rules survival. You've got to survive. And with Saturn and Neptune in Pisces right behind your sun sign, with Neptune being retrograde, you've got to take a look again at something that you, are, that, that you, you think you know all about, but you need to look things over again and see if you know the whole truth about something. If you know the whole truth about something and your estimation of somebody is just as high as it was before, or maybe even higher, that would be great. And because Saturn is now direct in Pisces and trying in your sun, maybe something like a very long delayed dream or 
or a long delayed wish of yours uh, could come true. As long as the facts justify that, as long as you're looking at the whole truth about something and, and you like what you see, then that's fine. Uh, because Saturn just went to red. And that, that means that finally something can go forward. But it's got to be something that you're not kidding yourself about. Something that you, you two are committed to. Or that you've been wanting for so long. And as long as you're taking a look at it and you're saying, yeah, this is right. This is what I want. Or who I want. Then uh, now that Saturn is direct, that's the direction you should be going in. And that would happen behind the scenes. Pisces rules things behind the scenes. Not everyone would see you actually doing something that your heart desires, but you could. And it wouldn't be momentary. It would be something that you'd wanted for a long time, and it would last a long time. That's why you need to be real sure of it first, Scorpio. And, you know, weigh and measure. But do not get involved in other people's sad tales of woe right now, because all they want to do is pull you down or use you. And uh, you can't let yourself be used like that, Scorpio. You're, you're a human being that knows how to do things right, and you deserve your place in the sun, too. You, you don't deserve where they are now. And, and some people have gambled and lost, and they're in the mud. And you, don't, you do not need to join them, Scorpio. No matter what sad tale of woe they're telling you, don't do it. Go for what will make you happy. Or who will make you happy. Because uh, maybe that's been delayed a very long time. Almost to the point where if you don't do something, it won't happen at all. So think it over. Okay, what does it mean to a Sagittarian? Well, Sagittarius, you have the sun in your sign and Mercury. But that Mercury is going backwards, Sagittarius. And that means when Mercury goes retrograde, which is generally for about, no, oh, say three weeks when it does that. It means that you and I and everybody else have got to go back and check things and recheck things and, and sort of catch up on things that we've been putting off or we've been missing or haven't done yet. You know, it's catch-up time, Sagittarius, because Mercury is retrograde in your sign. But that isn't the only reason. It's that you want to, I hope that you want to stay out of petty quarrels right now. And, you know, it's going to be hard for you to do that because there's five planets in the mutable signs and yours is a mutable sign. So Jupiter in Gemini is opposing Mercury and the Sun in your sign and Saturn, which is now direct, and Neptune in Pisces are squaring the two planets in your sign as well and they're squaring Jupiter in Gemini. So you can be around people that want to engage you in petty quarrels. Of either they want to quarrel with you or they want you to take their side as they quarrel with somebody else. I mean, it's like a dogfight, Sagittarius. Don't get in it. <laughs> because uh, Mercury is the planet of the mind, and uh, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. And Jupiter is opposing your sun sign, and it's retrograde right now. I think you have to change your plans. Or what I really think, Sagittarius, is you may have to reschedule your timeline on something. It's not so much that you, there's anything wrong with your goals. It is that due to circumstances beyond your control and to petty quarrels that other people have or issues that they're concerned with, um, you may have to ex sort of extend the timeline for a goal that you have set for yourself and just say, oh, maybe I can't do that right now. Uh, maybe I'll have to put it off till next spring or I'll have to put it off till next year or something like that. It's better to adjust your timeline than to get involved in, in petty fights that other people are, want to get you in. And so don't let that happen. Um, mutable signs are generally quite agreeable, and it doesn't look like they are too willing to do that right now, uh, at least not at this holiday time. So if I were you, I'd plan on a quiet holiday. And uh, I think you could enjoy it a lot, actually. Um, and. If you have to change some of your plans in the future, either in the near future, just over the holidays, or you have to change longer term uh, goals or plans for next year and sort of extend them out a little bit, you know there's gonna, not going to be anything wrong with that, Sagittarius. You could still accomplish the goals. 
It just might take you a little longer. But it might be due to things that you have no control over, so it's not your fault. So just think about that. If you have to, if you have to rearrange your schedule a little bit or you have to catch up on things you've been putting off, this is a good time to do that. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, Capricorn. This is a time that you can be feeling pretty good, Capricorn, because Venus is in your sign right now. And it is trining Uranus, which is retrograding Taurus, which means you may have thought there wasn't as much money around somewhere or in your investments. And for some reason, something could have turned around or else your costs. You may have thought that your costs were really going to be much higher on something and they're not. They could be a little bit lower. So I think in one way or another, Capricorn, there can be some good financial news for you. Because Uranus in Taurus is trining that Venus in your sign, and Venus rules Taurus, okay? So the ruler of Taurus is trining the sign it rules. That's good. <clears throat> and that would cover some sort of investment move or something that involves something that's sort of high-priced. Maybe something that you've had your eye on that is high-priced. You know, Capricorns like to get a bargain. Uh, maybe the price comes down suddenly. Maybe it goes on sale suddenly. Well, you'd probably have the money to, to treat yourself and buy yourself a nice Christmas present, Capricorn. Why don't you do that? Because <laughs> Venus is in your sign. That would be just great. And your ruler, Saturn, is in Pisces, and it sextiles your sign. Okay, and it also sextiles that Uranus in Taurus. So, um, I think you are going to have some extra money around somewhere, or you'll be able to sell something and get some more money uh, to probably buy yourself something you've already had your eye on, Capricorn. And I think there would be a way to do that. You, you know, Capricorns are not fast movers. They tend to look things over and put a pencil to it and really think about things. Um, so you may not, if, you, if, you're, if the price comes down on something and you do have the money to buy it, uh, you may not do it immediately. You might want to still think about it a little bit more, but it looks to me like you would be able to do it. And if I were you, I would. Because economic times are not that steady right now. And that's because there's two malefic planets, Uranus and Taurus and Mars and Leo, that are heartily squaring each other. And then the rulers of the other financial sign, Scorpio, are Mars and Pluto, and they are squaring each other in fixed signs. You know, if somebody's going to make a financial mistake, it's going to be a big one. And there's going to be no way out of it. And so, I, you know, I don't think that involves you, Capricorn, but that might involve people around you or situations around you. I don't, don't even worry about that, Capricorn, uh, because it looks to me with Venus in your sign that you're going to be able to buy something that you had your eye on, either because you have the money for it and you decide to do it, or because the price comes down and it's more affordable and it's a good time to do it. So good luck and have a nice Thanksgiving. Okay, what does it mean to an Aquarian? Well, Aquarius. This is a time, Aquarius, when <clears throat> you could be uh, unintentionally, in other words, it's not your idea to do this, but you could unintentionally be coming up against somebody who's pretty stubborn right now and broke. In other words, they've taken a gamble and they have lost. And, and they may be coming to you and saying, hey, solve all my problems for me. Well, you can't do that, Aquarius. You just can't. Pluto is in your sign. But it can be somebody who represents the role of being yesterday's news. Not only have they lost a gamble, but they don't have the qualifications that you're looking for uh, that will take you into the future. Your sign rules the future. And Pluto is there now. And um, Pluto indicates people that are in upper management in large corporations, government agencies, or institutions who are forming new policies because they have new goals. And somebody could say, well, I'm a little bit broke now. Either give me the money or hire me because uh, I, need, I need that money. And you just can't do it, Aquarius. And one of the really good reasons why is because you know that that's not the right thing to do. You can't just throw your own money away and give it to somebody who's already thrown their money away. 
Uh, is that called throwing good money after bad? Don't do it, Aquarius, because there is a grand trine that involves your sun sign. Stick with that, Aquarius. First of all, your sign rules the future. Now that Pluto is in your sign, you are very concentrated on the future, which is what you should be. It's what your sign's there for. <clears throat> And so Pluto in your sign now is going to continue very slowly to make you more and more powerful and to bring you around more and more powerful people. As you define what your future goals are and you head for those, and so you're going to be joining other people that are pretty pretty great at having new ideas as well, and that, that will appeal to you. But it also means that you could pick up a wonderful new partner right now, Aquarius, because today... The moon is in Libra, trining Pluto in your sun sign, and they are both trining Jupiter in Gemini, which represents part-time or temporary efforts or short journeys, or people in your neighborhood. You might be changing your neighborhood, or you may be changing who you know in your neighborhood, or what you do there. That would all work out really well. Um, a grand trine in air signs means that People are being very creative and conceptual, and they're able to communicate very easily right now with other people who, who share like ideas or who would make good partners with the moon in Libra. <clears throat> and so that's what you need to concentrate on right now because you really have a green light for all of that, Aquarius. You could go straight forward. And you could, you could find the right partners, or maybe you know, you know somebody who would make a good partner right now. You should communicate with them. They could be thinking the same thing about you. Well, why not get together? The Grand Trine is holding. Jupiter is retrograde, which means that if you do form a new partnership with somebody, you might have to change your travel plans or your short-term goals a little. You have to modify something, uh, but you could do it because Jupiter is trining Pluto in your sign. Uh, this is a golden moment for you to move forward, Aquarius. And uh, Mars in Leo is, is opposing your sun sign, which means you can't be frivolous about money, but don't throw good money after bad. If somebody has lost a gamble of their own, it, it's not up to you to bail them out. You, you really have to head for greener pastures and, and new partners and your own future. Um, I don't think Aquarius is actually going to realize the profound effect that Pluto will have in their sign for years. Because Pluto works real slowly. You can hardly see it coming. I guarantee you that it's in your sign, Aquarius, and it's being beautifully aspected right now. Yes, Mars is opposing it, which means stay out of quarrels with people. And when somebody wants to put the touch on you, head the other direction or give a great excuse, because the answer should be no. Uh, and, you know, don't do it. And then Uranus and Taurus is a squaring Pluto in your sign. But it is the air signs that have the grand trine, <clears throat> not the earth signs or the water signs, or the fire signs. That grand trine is in air signs. You need to take advantage of that, Aquarius. <clears throat> it's just that you're going to have to sort of tiptoe around or sidestep uh, people that you really don't see in your future. And you need to realize that. You need to just say to yourself, gee, do I want to return that call? No, they're not in my future. So just don't. Because you sure do have a future, Aquarius. Now it's time to concentrate on that, and if you, if you can pick up a new partner that can help you in the future, uh, you should do that. There's nothing stopping you, so go to it. Okay, what does it mean to a Pisces? Well, Pisces. This is a time, Pisces, when you can be involved in petty quarrels. Oh, that's not what a Pisces wants to do. A Pisces wants to have a happy Thanksgiving <laughs> and some good food to go with it. <laughs> But darn it, <clears throat> there are five planets in mutable signs, and yours is a mutable sign. And so the Sun and Mercury in Sagittarius are squaring Saturn and Neptune in your sign, and Neptune is retrograde and Mercury is retrograde. Somebody's going to have their travel plans change. It's either going to be yours, Pisces, or somebody else's, and that might be re weather related. Uh, you, you can't blame that on anybody, but still, that could be a little bit aggravating. And then... <clears throat> Jupiter in Gemini is also squaring 
Saturn and Neptune in your sun sign and Jupiter is retrograde. Of the five planets that are in the mutable signs in this harsh T cross, three of them are retrograde. And, and there's one in each sign, Gemini, Pisces, and Sagittarius. And so something's going to have to be redone, Pisces. You're going to have to rethink what you've been doing or who you've been doing it with or, or when you've got things planned. You may have to modify your plan. But I think that <clears throat> uh, mutable signs, which are really pretty easy to get along with, and they're mild-mannered, and they, they actually don't like fighting, but still, there are people around that are going to want to sort of park their problems on your doorstep, Pisces, and you cannot allow that right now. One of the big reasons for that, why you can't allow that, uh, you know, is because Saturn is now direct in your sign. And it was retrograde for months, but now it's direct. It's the planet of time. Saturn rules the 10th house of career, public reputation, and long-term benefits, because it, it, it rules Capricorn. Well, Venus is in Capricorn, Pisces. It's sextiling your sun, where you have Saturn, which is now direct. Both Venus and Saturn are direct. And uh, so you, these things can be really helping you right now, Pisces. This is not the time to hold back. In fact, you are overdue, Pisces. Um, you know, when Saturn is in a person's sun sign, it can make them easily depressed and very hesitant to do things and worried about things and even a little hard of hearing. Those are all the effects of Saturn in, in somebody's sun sign. <clears throat> and right now, Saturn is direct after being, you know, you've had Saturn retrograde for so long, you have probably been very hesitant to do the one thing that you've been wanting to do for years. And, and you know, you've, you've probably, right now, since Saturn is direct, I think you've run out of excuses, Pisces. There's no reason for you not to move forward now. And in fact, with Saturn direct in your sign, even though you can be involved in petty quarrels with other people that want you to change their plans or want you to help them out or want you to just take, they want to take up your time with something, you must resist that now and realize this is your time to make a long health wish come true. And it involves doing the right thing. And it doesn't involve yesterday. It involves something that you, I think you were a little bit, you were almost afraid that it would come true. Um, because you might have thought that you were limited in some way and that whoever was involved in making some dream come true that you really want to have happen, uh, maybe you were a little bit afraid of, of that for one reason or another. And so you held yourself back. That's what Saturn retrograde would have done. It would have held you back. Because it's in your sun sign. Well, now it's direct. So the message is, Pisces, go forward. <laughs> it's time. And you don't need, you do not need to be afraid of anything. You've had long enough to make up your mind about something. You're overdue. And I think really that your mind never changed. It's something that you've wanted to, or that you've been thinking about, or you've wanted to do, or somebody that you've really cared about. Yeah, I don't think your mind changed on that. It's that you let your limitations or your activities or other people that really weren't worth it um, hold you back. And uh, Saturn's not retrograde anymore. Nothing can hold you back, Pisces. <clears throat> You just sort of got to get up and do it now. And uh, what better way to have a happy holiday than to go forward. And also, Pisces, uh, since Saturn is directing your sign, uh, I just want to end by telling you uh, something that uh, I think you have finally realized, although it has taken you a very long time to realize that, and it's that you're worth it. You're worth it. And I think now you know it. Uh, you've been through your doubts and fears. You've been through letting other people hold you back. You've been through uh, having everything else to do except the one thing you wanted to do. Okay. You've been there and done it. 
no more excuses. I don't think you have any excuses anymore. Uh, but I, I don't think you have any doubts and fears. It's just it might be sort of new to you that you realize you're worth it. So go forward. And um, have the holiday of your lifetime. Uh, I think it's going to be one that is better than you think it'll be. And I think that it is going to be um, not, not busy, joyful, party happy. I think it's going to be uh, cozy, comfortable, loving happy. Okay? And that's because you're worth it. So just remember that. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. Once again, I hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving, and I'll see you next week. And keep in mind that this is a time when those who are doing things right are really going to succeed. And if other people haven't done that, it's not your problem. They did it to themselves. So don't, don't, don't mess up your own happiness by de letting other people deny it right now. Go forward on your own. And have a good holiday. All right. Thanks so much. I'll see you right here next week for Starborn. Bye.